But today we're coming down by the waterside, by the Murray River, aren't we? What did you tell the peoples? You were checking the birds out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put that on, can you? Can you put that on? It's my phone. Don't take it off. Put it on. I'm worried about my phone, people. Where's it going to land? They don't land. They birth. Where are they going to Okay. Where are they <laughs> <laughs> Just here. And I'm on the light stuff today because I can't handle this shit. So you said it, not me, didn't you guys? No, you're just more open about it. I oh, say so you're cunning and deceiving then. I'm very sly. Ah, oh, right, okay. This Murray River inspired me to watch that movie, didn't it? I well, know, you wouldn't have think two hours. That just went. You wouldn't have think. <laughs> you wouldn't have thought, or you wouldn't have think. Sorry, I've had oh, too oh. many to drink. <laughs> I'm asking a favour of you. And what's the favour, babe? I think we had some bad influences. Yeah, we had some bad influences drinking with us in front of the motel. We got told to shut it up at 8 o'clock. I mean, yeah. come on. We're in the middle of some Italian mobster's birthday. Just glad the guns and the machine guns never come out. <laughs> you can't say that. It's a shame, really, isn't it? All this unemployment and people don't want to work. <laughs> we were in Victoria when we left this morning. Now we're in New South Wales. Now we're going to be back in Victoria very soon. Last night, you've probably seen that. A bit of volatility was happening, wasn't there, babe? But today we're coming down by the waterside, by the Murray River, aren't we? We're going on a bit of a cruise today, aren't we, sweetie? We think we are. Well, <laughs> I booked it, so who knows? <sighs> Rusty could be disappointed, eh? What do you reckon, guys? This is the beautiful parklands, as you would have seen last year on the video. But we never done a cruise, did we, last year? No, we didn't. No. But it's a very nice area down through here. Look at it. Right, so Oops, this is the Murray River at Mildura. Enough. And that's our wharf down there that we've got to go on. Kimmy's down there taking happy snaps of some bird in a tree. Are you coming? Yeah, I was just checking the birds out. Yeah, see, old Rusty's not allowed to do that. Didn't I just tell you that? What? Nothing. Oh. Well, Rusty's not allowed to check the birds out, but Kim is. Go figure, eh? We've got a cafe down here, but We could have come down here, had brekkie, yeah. and then just meandered along the river like Lover's Walk. Oh, that sounded so, nice. This is Lover's Walk. Yeah. And um, just went along to our boat then. Oh, you tell me now. Uh, tell me now, eh? Never mind. Don't worry about it, bud. So this is the mighty Murray, guys. <laughs> Rusty loves the Murray River. It's so busy down here too. Like there's a bus, a busload of people. Car park's pretty full. Look at all the houseboats over there too. Don't I don't know, know if you can see them in the distance. Oh, I think Rusty's she's filming. Checking the birds out. Nice big gum tree there. Look, here comes our paddle steamer. Down oh, there, really? babe. Right down there. Oh, and this is where we're getting on it, isn't it, babe? Yeah. Somewhere here. What did you tell the peoples? You yeah, were checking the birds out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. No one will believe that rubbish. Okay? Murray River flood. So Look, this is 2023. Oh, that's Look where she that. come to. Yeah. Look at that, guys. That's where she come to last year. Wow, that's over my head. Yeah, that's all the way through here. Yeah. yeah. That's all the way through here, everywhere. So all that caravan park over the road and everything would have been. You know? Underwater. Underwater. So we think that is our paddle steamer right there. I'll be saying, welcome aboard Kimmy Russ Adventures. You're back again, are you? Good on you. Because we have been on this cruise before, I think. Look, I'm using my hand thing for safety reasons. Are you? 
But yeah, well, you told me to put the lanyard on on my hand. Every time I got your phone, you say, put that on, can you? Can you put that on? It's my phone. Don't take it off, put it on. I'm worried about my phone, people. Come aboard with us, guys, as we cruise this amazing river. The unique feature of this cruise is travelling downstream through Lock 11, which was built to bypass the weir across the river. We can experience the workings of a lock as a rofferby is lowered to the downstream level and raised again on the return journey. An informative and comprehensive life commentary of the river and its history, fauna and flora is conducted through the cruise, involving the public in the current beauty and history of the river and its vessels. A light lunch, sandwiches, cakes, tea, coffee and cool drinks and also alcohol are available to purchase on board the vessel and it's fully licensed with toilet. The cruise is currently being operated on board the paddle vessel Rothrobby, which is no longer a steamer, she's been converted to diesel. But that's what we're going on today, the Rothrobby. And they've got alcohol, haven't they, babe? Yeah, well, that's what they said they did. It's not quite. What is the time, babe? Is it time for a stubby? 10.23. Guess what? Any, any time we're on holidays, it's time for a stubby, isn't it, babe? If we're not riding, is that not right? That is correct. That is correct. There she's there. She might have a bit of trouble with this wind today, babe, coming in. She's coming into birth. She's coming in to pick everyone up. How did you know that was our one? It's the Rotherby. Yeah, but it was way up there when you said... Huh? It was way up the... That's where it comes from. I think it might be more than one. Jump in if she hits the wharf, babe. <laughs> if one have to jump, I reckon they'll knock us in. Where's it going to land? They don't land, they berth. Where are they going to Okay. Where are they going to <laughs> <laughs> Just here. She still thinks. Now, if you watch, if you watch it in Port Macquarie, she went up up to the so-so cockpit, so she's still on this landing thing <laughs> in cockpit on aeroplanes, aren't you? I'm not used to boats. <laughs> I know bikes and aeroplanes. Uh... Oh, it's going to land here. Land. Oh, well, birth. Babe. It's going to stop here, okay? That's her pulling up to get everyone on board. Oh. So here we are. We're up on here, aren't we, babe? All aboard, Captain. <laughs> Looks like there's going to be a fair few people on here today, babe. Yeah, it's a bit busy. No, no, yeah, it looks a bit busy. It's very nice and cool up here, isn't it? it up is. top of the cover. Yeah. So we'll turn you back on when we start going, eh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm lost along the way If I wander off onto a different trail Will you forgive me if I fail? Through the lock. Oh, this is where we got to fill up. Yeah. Stubby already. What's the time, babe? We've been on here for 10 minutes, haven't we? 11.07. 11.07, yeah. 15 minutes. We were a bit late actually getting the stubby, we weren't were. we? Yeah. yeah. And I'm on the light stuff today because I can't handle shit. So you said it, not me, didn't you guys? But we are in the lock and weir system at the moment. They're closing the gate behind us because they've got to let us out on the other side and drop down two and a half metres water level. Doesn't take long, no. No, it does not. Just, you can see there how much the water has dropped already. It was oh, wow. to the top of that, to the top of there. It's got to drop two and a half metres, I think he said. And then those gates will open up, won't they, babe? Yeah. And we'll be let loose. Yep, so she drops real quick, doesn't she? Yeah. 
You feel yourself going down, don't you? And then the gates will open and away will go. It's gone down a long way, ain't you guys? Look at that. And there we have the lock and wheel system in the park. Yeah, it's cool. We're down two and a half metres down to the right level. Things in black and white. Will you forgive me tonight if I'm wrong and you're right? We could buy them for the grandkids so yeah, they can piss I mean. the parents off. We would have to buy 14 of them though. Yeah. How much are I wonder if we get a discount. Yeah. I don't know. For like, multi buy. Yeah. Five yeah. bucks each pay. Are they? Yeah. Where does it say that? On there, look. Whistles, five bucks each. If I'm lost along the way. sticky beak on the roof. Yeah, but I don't mean about that. You already know it on the sticky beak. Almost. Not not as bad as you though. No, you're just more open about it. I oh, say so you're cunning and deceiving then. I'm very sly. Ah right, okay. It's not a bad little cruise, is it babe? So something to relax with. Yeah. Have a couple of stubbies of course. We are coming back up to the lock and wear system now on the way back. A lot of birds and a lot of fish, a lot of everything on the Murray. There is wildlife everywhere. This Murray River inspired me to watch that movie, didn't it? Did it, babe? You know that movie? All the rivers run. That's it. <laughs> Never knew um, about it until Rusty told yeah, me about it. Until I told yeah. you about it. Yep, that's a good movie. fill up and away we'll go. Yep. So the gates are about to close again. Once they're closed, they'll start filling up with water and away we'll go, won't we? It's very interesting. Once the water comes up, mm -hmm. which is about where this mark is here. Right. There. 
got to come up to. Boats fair way in about two and a half metres. You just ride right that. Apparently you don't want to be down there at the moment in Melbourne. Got open sesame. And we'll be away again yeah, in right. a sec. You wouldn't have thought or you wouldn't have think? Sorry, I've had too many to drink. <laughs> and they were only light ones, man. One was a Great Northern, one was cold and dry. Only light alcohol content, so go work that one well, out, eh, guys? I'm chops. I'm just topping up from last night. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's it for the cruise up the Murray River on the Rothbury. Mm -hmm. Rothbury. Roth Rothbury. Rothbury. Yes. yes, we had fun on there, didn't we? Beautiful mm -hmm. day for a little bit breezy. But all that, pretty good indeed, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we'll catch you down the road somewhere. Hey guys, on. so this is our our motel here, the Seventh Street Motel. We're not very far away from where we caught the boat, are we, boat? No. As in the paddle steamer boat, that is. Mm -hmm. Not many people in here. Oh, wait a minute, Kimmy Ross are here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's good to see the bikes are still there. <laughs> it is good to see the bikes are still there. You what? I'm asking a favour of you. And what's the favour, babe? So you're Could not you... coming with me today because you haven't, you haven't backed your bike out yet? Could you please back my bike oh, out? Oh, you want something off old Rusty, do you? Uh, no. You want something off Rusty? Yep. Yeah. I'll pay for this later, I can tell you. Do you know how to start my bike? <laughs> okay. See how hard it is for you. It's only because I want you to come with me, I'm backing it out. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. You want me? I might get lonely by myself. Yeah, probably would. I'm sure you'd find somebody, though. Yeah, of course, though. So. Someone to ride your bike, though. That's all I need. That's the problem, isn't it? All right, we'll get back to you. He's done a good job. Thank you. Okay. So we're leaving our motel for the night. Lucky we weren't kicked out. <laughs> Kim, oh, spoon drain. Spoon drain. Kim was a bit noisy last night. One, two. I think we had some bad influences. Yeah, we had some bad influences drinking with us in front of the motel. We got told to shut it up at eight o'clock. I mean, yeah. come on. Oh, we took her on down the pub instead. <laughs> <laughs> took it, took no one tells us to shut up when we're having a good time. That's it. Oh, Jesus. We weren't shutting up. We just went somewhere else to make a noise. Really don't know which way I'm going here. Yeah. I'm just going to keep going out that way and see what she does. Yeah. I'll come out. Of, I'll come out of Tenth Street and see which way she wants to take me. Hey. Uh, hey you yeah. put her on a she now. Nah, I wouldn't dare do that. I don't want a GPS woman talking to me. I've got bad enough with the one talking to me behind me. <laughs> well, we'll have to be quiet here on Sunday morning, isn't it, guys? You get up... Empty. You, get, you, you get up this main street of Mildura of an eye and she's bustling, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. With all the eateries down the bottom end. I mean, she's absolutely bustling. Yeah, was when we got there. We're in the middle of some... Italian mobster's birthday. Yeah, you can't say that on camera. Can't okay, say that on camera, bro. Okay, we were in the middle of somebody's birthday and we joined in and said happy birthday and clapped. Yeah, yeah the Dom had his birthday, didn't he? Yeah, we didn't have any cake, though. Well, we only joined in and clapped because we seen the cake. We thought oh, I'm, just, get it. I'm just glad the guns and the machine guns never come out. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said it. Oh, yep, go, go, go. So, we're going out the same way we come in, guys, but we're not going back to Griffith. We will be uh, turning off. And we're heading down to Swan Hill today, aren't we, for a couple of nights? Yeah. Our trip is rapidly uh, coming to an end now. We have a week, well, not quite a week. Nah, 
we've got until Friday. Today's Sunday, and we've got till Friday. To get no, back we don't to the get boat. back to work until Wednesday, so. No. I do like Mildura, I reckon it's a nice place. But do they say that about most towns though, don't I, babe? You do, it's because it's on the Murray, that's why. Yeah, it probably is, you know. Now, when we get over this bridge, we're going to be in New South Wales? Yep. This is a bit breezy on the top of here. Look at all them boats down there, guys. <laughs> nice. You'd love the houseboat, wouldn't you? Oh, I'd love that. I'd love to just rent a houseboat and go up there for a few weeks or a couple of weeks. Probably a couple of weeks, but yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. We might have to look at it one year. Yeah, that'd be good. So Darren and Amanda want to come up. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> So this is Gold Gold guys. Just out of Mildura. I don't know how much of it you would have seen on the way in because I know I wasn't filming. So if I've got to rely on Kim to show you, oh, I'm not real sure, so I'm gonna film it on the way back through. What do you reckon, mate? Yeah, just in case I didn't hit record or something. Yeah, well, we don't know what happened, but anyway. I'll film it anyway. Yes. It's a nice little town, Gold Gold. Right there is the Murray River, right on the banks there as a lot of these towns are along here. And we do know the Gold Gold Pub has a very nice meal in there, don't we? Yes, but they don't do those cruises anymore. No, they used to do a river cruise from Mildura up to the Gold Gold Pub and drop you off and take you back after lunch. But um, COVID sort of wrecked all that and they've never ever started up again. Same with uh, winery tour you used to be able to do and go and have a barbecue lunch. The Trenton Estate one, um, they don't do that anymore either. Oh. COVID got rid of that and it never come back. Because their workers went. Yeah, they were hard to get workers and that, and still very, very hard apparently. So, Joanne on uh, the Roth, what, what, Rothbury? Rothbury? On the boat told us yesterday. It's a shame, really, isn't it? All this unemployment and people don't want to work, they want to be picky yeah. and choosy. I'd love to work on that boat. Yeah, it'd be good. So, it's the first time we've seen clouds for a while, so yeah, it must be a good sign we're heading back down to Victoria, hey, babe? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a bit happier. <laughs> Where it rains. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there is a midweek weather here. It's not too good next few days, probably, but um, we're still trying to stay up a bit higher out of it, aren't we? Yeah. Yep. But it must be a sure sign, though, hey? Clouds, <laughs> Victoria. We'll just deal with whatever we get dished out with. Yep, not much we can do. It would be very safe to say, and this I know for sure, Kimmy would have her hand grips on, on the heat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought so, guys. It's about 17 degrees at the moment. I never looked before we left, <laughs> but it's a lot cooler than what it's been a few days ago. But they would have fucking come on soon as she hit the road, I reckon, today. Yeah, it did, and I'm five. I forgot to put my gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> You're exactly right. Oh, I thought I might have been, babe. Yeah. Oh, Rusty hasn't got his on. It's Rusty's tough. <laughs> I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> Rusty doesn't win, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not very often. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that either. Um, there is a fair bit of sunshine there. Now, like I said, it's a bit cooler. Well, we're going down to Swan Hill. I think it's only... Um, did I say about 20, 22 or something? Yeah, 22. Just one year, something like that. It wasn't, it wasn't very high, but um, as we start going back down in Victoria, it's going to get, um, over the next few days, cloudier and cooler. I know Ballarat was forecast for about 11, 13 degrees, about Wednesday or something, Thursday. Please. Oh, I don't really want to go there. <laughs> and, Bendy, and Bendigo was fairly low too, so we'll just have to keep an eye on the weather. We don't know where we're going to run into Geelong from yet, do we, babe? Uh, we might get a chance to test our new waterproofs out. Well, I'm hoping we do not have to. <laughs> Same, but never know. Okay, so we've just come through Euston again, and we're about to turn off and head down through... Um, the Murray Valley Highway down through Robinvale. So we were in Victoria when we left this morning. Now we're in New South Wales. Now we're going to be back in Victoria very soon. <laughs> we're quick, aren't we? Yeah. Pretty good. Over the, place. the what? We're all over the place. Oh yeah. 
three states in an hour. There you go, Swan Hill, 141 k's, guys. So I think we might have a bit of a look in at Swan, uh, Robin Vale, so we can get some brekkie, eh, babe? Yeah, I remember one other time we were here on a Sunday. There wasn't much open. No, there wasn't. So we'll just go for a quick drive through and see how busy they are, eh? Yeah. Otherwise, we'll, um, yeah, we'll go down the road or something. Somewhere. Yeah. Now my wheels in motion and my 